So hello guys, we've got our, we've got about 5% of our Tokyo 2020 Australian Team Olympic gear. And I thought I'd give you guys an insight of to what it looks like. So um, what it looks like to make the Australian team and uh, what, what, what it actually looks like when you get your uniforms, your equipment, your merchandise for the, uh, for the Tokyo games that you're going to use in the village. So uh, this is the second time that I'm going to the Olympic Games for Australia and uh, I've had the pleasure now of having these sort of gifts for the second time. So the other day, this time in Tokyo is a little bit different than in Rio. So back in Rio, we were able to, uh, we went to Sydney to get about 90% of our gear and then we got about 10% in Rio. This time's a little bit different because of COVID and uh, I think they they want us to not use the gear too much before we get to Tokyo. So this time they've only given us like 5%, like 5% of the equipment and we're gonna get about 95% of it in Tokyo. But anyway, uh, here's the lovely suitcase, which is the same as the Rio one, which I would have, uh, which you would have seen if you're, if you're uh, following me on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, it's the exact same as the Rio 2016 one, except this one is see-through. Something I, don't, I really don't like though, so I love this suitcase, but the only thing that I don't like is that these letters were coming off and there were stickers rather than printed on. That was annoying, so I had to put these uh, this sticky tape on it so this doesn't fall off, like the words legitimately. Open, opening it up, uh, I did the exact same thing in, in Rio. These things here were put on here and here, and it just took up way too much space. Where this time we're going to the nationals first and two weeks training in Brisbane, then we're gonna to go to Tokyo. So we need a boatload of equipment and this luggage space is barely gonna be enough. So anything that covers space and is not needed, it's just gonna to have to be removed. Um, these are the volleys that they've given us. So it looks kinda, of, looks quite nice. It's got Tokyo 2020. Australia written on it uh, As soon as I'm done with it when I come back from Tokyo my brother who's a gym junkie and owns his own gym Has been like bro. Can you just just make sure you give them to me once you're back from Tokyo? so They aren't exactly my favorite type of style of shoes, but I know my brother loves them and uh, If he doesn't like something he'll be honest He has no problem saying he doesn't like it. So yeah, he reckons these volleys look beautiful. So I'm not sure exactly which one yet. I didn't read it properly, but one of them is the opening ceremony kit and one of them is the closing ceremony kit. Uh, they've given us some like speedos here. Uh, I think these are bathers. I'm not sure what they are. Um, anyhow, they've given us some speedos here to use in the ice baths. They've given us this time some jocks, which has been really nice. Socks here for the opening and closing ceremony. Um, these can't be playing competition socks because that's just, that's, I don't like ankle socks. Same here, these have to be opening and closing socks. Um, what else? They've given us a lovely shirt here. Oh, there's more, there's more jocks and stuff here. Jocks and shorts. Um, but not the actual playing shorts. I'm going to give you guys a look at the shirt. So that's the that's one of our shirts that's uh to be worn around the village. So typically the rule when you're playing these type of events like Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games, is that when you're representing Australia, you've got to be wearing what they give you the whole time. Their shoes, their shorts, their socks, everything, their jackets. You can't be just using your own stuff. because uh, they've put a lot of money into sponsors. This time our sponsors are ASICs. So the whole time back from 2000 in Sydney to about 2008, we were Nike. And then uh, I think it was around 2008 or 12 that we moved to Adidas. And uh, in Rio last time in 2016, we were Adidas, but now we've moved to uh, ASICS. Yeah, Australian Olympic team is ASICS now. So whenever we're there, we're gonna be representing ASICS. These are some bags for the volleys, which I took out. And this is a general bag that had a lot of other stuff. Because of COVID this year, they've given us a lot of masks here as well. 
as well as a face mask to sleep on the plane. Um, even though I'm not too sure what to think about the equipment yet, because uh, I've only got about 5% of it, I do love the sports bag they've given us. I know a lot of people have said that they don't like it, it's not big enough. While I do think it's not really big enough, I do love the design. Um, I do love the cheeky Tokyo 2020 Australia sign here as well. And uh, for me personally, uh, for those who know me, they know that whenever I come to training, I bring a lot of stuff. Uh, I also need big bags. So as a, as, as, a per, as a player who's sponsored with rubbers, blades and all that, but I'm actually not sponsored with bags and clothing. I'm going to use this one, not at the Olympic Games, of course, at the Nationals, and uh, that one as well as a second bag. So yeah, finally, the last couple of things we got were the uh, opening and closing ceremony stuff. So normal pair of short shorts here. Didn't get any uh, Tokyo 2020 logos. This one certainly does, though. That's nice. What else we got? Not going to open too many of them. They've given us a belt, a tie. Um, what else? They've given us a jacket for the opening ceremony too, a blazer. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that looks as good as Rio 2016. Speaking of, I do have the um, Rio 2016 one here. So let's have a look. This is my brother's room back when he uh, used to live at home. So this was Commonwealth Games, it's Commonwealth Games as well. Let's have a look at uh, the Rio 2016 one, if I can still find it. Ah, uh, must not be in this room then, must be in, uh, must be in my room here. So let's have a look. It's me and T-Mobile. Uh, this is the Rio 2016 one, I believe, yes, I got it. Take a look at that. It seems like a similar design, but just with Tokyo 2020 written on it. So yeah, basically that's what we're taking to Tokyo. Uh, it's about five or 10% of the stuff that we're gonna get. We're gonna get a lot more of the stuff there. Uh, I'm a bit annoyed that we didn't get shoes that runners to carry on with us because I'm actually, truth be told, I'm out of runners. And uh, it would have been nice to have some runners to walk on the plane with and, uh, you know, be able to walk with some new ASICS runners, which are awesome shoes, and just uh, get them right now rather than later. Apart from that, though, I do, um, I think the new equipment looks pretty good. So uh, I'll, give you another, I'll give you guys another update while I get all this stuff uh, in Tokyo. I'm going to do a lot of vlogs because... Uh, I know it's rare to be able to travel now, so I'll give you guys the full experience as much as I can while I'm on the road. Uh, and again, keep in touch, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay safe.